The final non-conference regular season game is in the books. Greetings from Cullowee, North Carolina, on the campus of Western Carolina. This is the Cliff Fellows Show. And, Coach, final bracket busters and a great test for your team against a solid SOCON squad. Very tough team and, and a, a, a team that uh, can make some noise in their tournament. Uh, Hard-fought game. We turned the ball over too much. Seven turnovers in the first uh, four and a half minutes of the game really set the tone, uh, and they took advantage of it. We dug too big of a hole. Never quit fighting, but this Western Carolina team was a better team today. Coach, if you're going to find one big positive in this game, you were down 20 with about four minutes to go in the first half. This game could have gotten extremely ugly. Instead, you were extremely competitive in the second half. Well, we quit turning the ball over. Ten of those 15 turnovers that we had all occurred during those that first ten minutes of the game. Once we quit turning the ball over, we were okay, but it was just too many turnovers. Coach, let's look back on Saturday afternoon in Cullowee, North Carolina, Coastal Carolina, taking on Western Carolina. Coach, tough road trip climbing the mountain. Well, we're in the Smokies, and I tell you what, uh, Western Carolina came out, and made made some great shots. We the lid was on the basket for us, in addition to turning the ball over too. Early on, though, you were hanging around. Warren Gillis hits the mid-range jumper here. Then a nice move in the paint by El Haji J. Gen. The hoop and the foul. You're up 5-4. Well, we need to we need to establish the inside game. We really need more of that. Take a look at what is going to make Coastal tick in the postseason. And here's Anthony Rafa being active. He's able to come up with the ball somehow. And then this spin move is awesome. Well, that was a good spin move by him. 7-7 seven, seven after the hoop and the foul. Then Rafa knocks down the three. Coach, you have a 10-9 lead, but here's when Western Carolina gets going. James Sinclair had a hot hand. Well, he, he, he was a guy that was shooting around 25% from the three, yet he made four or five threes. that We were helping off of him, but uh, he stepped up. He and a guy by the name of Boggs, number 24, they were X factors in this game, made a big difference for Western Carolina. Coach, you're down 36 to 16. Well, we're down 20, and it's all because of turnovers that lead to easy baskets in this early part. From here on, uh, we, we dig our way back. Coach, uh, it could have been uh, a real big deficit at halftime, but you were able to put together a 5-0 run starting with uh, Badu Jang here with the spin move in the lane. It's a 15-point game, a lot better than uh, 20. Well, our goal is to cut the lead down and try to get it under 10, which we will do later on in the game. So now we go to the second half where Kier Greenwood finds the range from three and, and it would go back and forth. Sinclair hits the three here. It's 46-27, but coach, this is where you start to make the comeback. Euros Leskovich on the inside uh, gets it down to a 15 point game. Well, we're closing it down. Now the goal is to try to get it under 10. Warren Gillis gets that accomplished, 47-38. Well, we've got a chance. Now we just got to dig down deeper, but Western Carolina continues to make plays. Now, the other hot hand was Boggs. Uh, you know, he keeps going back and forth. Brandon Boggs gets going, and uh, boy, th this is tough stuff right here, because every time you had a bucket, Coach, Boggs had an answer. Well, he was the X factor, and, and you got to give him credit. How about this play, though? Rafa with the steal, the hoop, and the foul. Coach, you just keep on fighting. That's the encouraging thing you take out of the second half. There's no question. We did not quit fighting. We just dug too big of a hole. They came at us physically, uh, mentally, in every way uh, to make it 36-16. to 16. From that point on, we, we, we actually, I thought, outplayed Western Carolina, but it's too big of a hole. Badu Jang with a rash of threes here showing his ring. Well, he knocked down the threes. He had the open shot. We need to see that. Coach, it was kind of a tournament simulator because you you were able to put your late package in, and, and again, you were you were stretching the game out, and you were just hanging around. You wouldn't go away. Well, our defense was getting more physical, and we were we were able to try to get this thing back, and I thought we did a good job of that. Uh, Kier Greenwood with one more gasp here. This is the closest you get, Coach, 77 to 70, but you're just out of time, and Western's making their free throws. Yeah, it, it, we did a good job of fighting and coming back, but Western Carolina, again, making enough plays to be able to stay ahead. 80 to 70 is your final. Coach, you outscore Western Carolina 49-44 in the second half. Greenwood with 20, Raffle with 19. Well, these guys did a good job in helping us come back. Uh, and uh, you got to credit them from that aspect. They didn't quit. Yeah, we just uh, we didn't play our best half, you know. Uh, turn the ball over a little bit and they convert off our turnovers. And then uh, we made some second half adjustments and uh, we say protect the ball and we'll be all right. And, you know, we protect the ball. You know, we try to get ourselves back in there. We got it down to like I think eight or so, and you know they just I mean they're a good team and they just uh, execute down the stretch. Well, yeah, we got to move on to the next one. Uh, we had some tough losses on the road earlier this year, so it's it's nothing new. We know how to bounce it back, and I uh, think we'll be able to do it. Our ACC peak performer from the Western Carolina game, Kier Greenwood, the senior from Cincinnati, Ohio, 20 points on six of 11 shooting, seven of eight from the free throw line. Yes, he had good numbers on the offensive end. 
Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll look back on a thrilling game on Wednesday night against UNC Asheville. Plus, Coach Cliff Ellis goes to the cafeteria to get the student body fired up about Shauna Clear basketball. That's when the Cliff Ellis Show continues right after this. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. And by DARPRO Solutions, America's largest and oldest recycling solutions company that serves the nation's food industry. A special thanks to HTC and DARPRO Solutions, co-title sponsors of The Cliff Ellis Show. HTC connects my family, neighbors, and businesses in our community to the most reliable communication services at the best possible value. More services, more savings, which is value I count on when I bundle, giving me more connections to the things that matter the most. Bundle and save up to $45 per month today on your HTC services with HTC Member Connections. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. DAR Pro Solutions is America's oldest, largest, and most innovative recycling solutions company that serves our nation's food industry. DAR Pro offers their customers over a century of experience, a network of nationwide locations, and a continuous commitment to research and to develop tomorrow's recycling solutions. DAR Pro is founded on the heritage of two great companies, Darling International and Griffin Industries. A special thanks to DAR Pro Solutions for being the co-title sponsor of the Cliff Ellis Basketball Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timmer. Serving the Grand Strand since 1982, the ultimate goal of Waccamaw Land and Timber is to match the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. If you're looking for a place to relax, hunt or fish, the professionals at Waccamaw Land and Timber can find you the perfect recreational property. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw Land and Timber. I want to thank my friend Keith Henson from Waccamaw Land and Timber for their support of the Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears. In the blink of an eye, everything changed. The house we called home, gone. Glad to see you and your family are okay. Because what is lost? can always be found again. Welcome back to the Cliff Ellis Show. Before we get into the highlights from Tuesday night's game against UNC Asheville, we want to show you Coach Ellis in one of his favorite elements. Coach Ellis, working the student body, trying to get everyone to come out and support the Shauna Clears. Cliff Ellis has helped the Coastal Carolina basketball program reach a new level. 75 wins over three years heading into this season, including a 21-game win streak, three straight postseason appearances, and marquee wins over LSU and Clemson not once, but twice. But the legendary coach knows that there's much more than the on-court product. Well, Rich, every program that I've ever coached in has, ha has had to be educated with regards to the game of basketball, whether it be South Alabama, Clemson at the time, Auburn at the time, and years and years ago, uh, I developed a process, okay, how can we get to the students? What's the best way? And through that process, I found that, okay, they're going to eat lunch somewhere every day, and the best place to go is, is to the cafeteria. So that's why you'll see Coach Ellis on game day spending his lunchtime in Hicks Hall mingling with students, trying to get them to come out to the HTC Center. And it's great that you're in here trying to um, promote the basketball games. It's a good way to do it. Yes, we love basketball. We die-hard fans, Coastal. We'll be there tonight, and see you there. As the players grab some lunch on game day, they see what their coach is doing and appreciate the push to pack the HTC Center. Yeah, it's good to see him. I mean, he's involved. You know, he could be in his office and send other guys, you know, to come do it. But. He's coming himself to do it, so I think it means a lot, you know, and I'm sure the students will respond to it. You probably wish every game was kind of like that Clemson game, where it's packed to the gills, and you know, the crowd's going to pick you up. I mean, it really does make a difference to have that home court advantage. Yes, it does. You know, mostly when you make, you know, sometimes when you need to run, you know, uh, 
we need the fans, you know, to be into it. So I think, you know, it makes a big, big difference. And hopefully, you know, from now on, you know, people will start coming more to the games because that can help a lot, really. With the Big South Conference Tournament coming to Conway in just a couple of weeks, Coach Ellis knows that every Rowdy fan will help CCU's chances of reaching the big dance, and he'll do whatever it takes to get that home court advantage. We're having a party. Everybody's dancing. That's what you're doing. I'm ready to see you. I like doing it. I like interacting with these, with these young people. Uh, it, it, it makes my day to come out and get with them. And I, and I want to do it for our kids, too, that play the game because they deserve all the support they can get. Well, Coach, that cafeteria magic worked. We got some kids out here, and they were fired up for this. Well, you know what? When they get involved, it makes a difference. Our, our fans had a lot to do with this game, and I'm, I'm very proud of our students and proud of the fans that came. And, and they sure enjoyed a, a good old-fashioned heavyweight battle. This one was a 15-rounder, Coach, and good start for you. Here's El Haji, good defense, and it sets up the transition. You really pushed the ball good when you made a good defensive play. Well, we sure did. Uh, defense was giving us some open opportunities in, in the first half. And, and we were taking it down and getting uh, some open shots and making some good plays. So there's Anthony Raffa with the finish, and here's Raffa returning the favor to Warren Gillis. Coach, you got a 7-3 lead, two and a half minutes in. Well, we're into it. Defense is creating it. Kier Green, well, we're going to miss this guy, Coach. One thing I love, and this play really highlights it, those long arms. Yeah, he's got long arms, and it makes a big difference. And, uh, you know, it helps us defensively. It helps us passing. It's a, it's a good attribute to have as a point guard. Care cleans up right there, and then here's El Haji J again posting up against the big guy. I love the development of El Haji on in this particular part of his game. Well, and you take UNC Asheville; they're one of the more physical uh, teams in our league. They battle you; they're very tough, they're strong, and uh, you've got to battle against them. And and that is that does show how far Haji's come, and as well as our big guys that played in this game, making strides. Hughes with the three here, gets right back uh, to a 12-12 ball game. And then here's a key, Badu Jang, the offensive rebound, gets you that extra possession, and Rafa knocks down a three to put you up five. Well, anytime you get an offensive rebound, it does give you that extra possession, and the three-point shot is there, and, and Rafa knocks it down. And then here's Rafa, once again, the beneficiary of some good defense, Warren Gillis setting up Anthony 22-17. Our defense is paving the way. And once again, a good half for Rafa. He had 14 in the first half, knocks down the three. Uh, UNC Asheville, uh, they've got, they're, they're deep coach. Corey Littlejohn from three, it's a two-point ball game. Well, this is a kid that really hadn't been shooting the ball that well, and he knocked shots down, and that's a tribute to him. Coach, here's Anthony Rafa showing that senior great decision-making. He gets the steal, and I love this call here. He doesn't take it right to the hole, pulls up and knocks it down. Well, that is, we've been wanting him to do that. What a great play that was. Instead of going in and trying to challenge the big guys, he pulls up, makes a shot. Also gives you a chance to get the rebound. And then here's Rafa closing out the half. Coach, your defense was outstanding, and uh, the steal in the lane, you're tied at 34 at the half. Trademark of our team is defense and rebound. Second half now, you, you see UNC Asheville uh, jumping out. Uh, Sam Hughes, a hot hand, two straight threes, and that's when UNCA got that lead. Well, you know, you always look for X factors, and, and Hughes came off the bench, knocked down two threes. They were big momentum threes for their team, and uh, it, it gave them momentum. Now you're playing catch up, but coach, uh, here's Badu Jang. Boy, this young man is growing up. This is a steal, and this got the crowd hopping. Well, it did, and defense can do that, and we like to see the fans into it. Coach, another big uh, contributor, uh, Michelle Ananga, had a couple of key offensive rebounds, including this one right here with the follow. He did. He goes to the glass extremely hard. Warren Gillis gets you within two at 45-43. Coach, uh, El Haji showing some physicality here. Well, he, he is he's the most physical player on our team. Coach, you were playing catch up for most of the second half. Here's Jeremy Atkinson to put UNC Asheville up six, but then a, a big sequence here with Rafa hitting a three, and here's another big play by Ananga. You're down 151 50. Well, Atkinson's going to try to make the play for Asheville when it really gets on the line. Coach, when you look at one little play that can spark something, I thought this was the most important play of the game. Anthony Rafa on defense gets a backcourt violation, and, and that got you going, didn't it? Well, it, it gave us the possession without them getting a shot, and, it, and, and I think it gave us a lot of momentum. So Rafa, as a result of that, would hit a three, and now Badu Jang, coach, it took you a while to climb the mountain, but here you are up 157-56. Well, it's going to be back and forth from here, so get ready for the seesaw. And here's Jeremy Atkinson, coach, 58-57. A lot of times, coach, when you spend all that energy getting to the lead, 
you lose it, but your team really kept a great energy level. Well, and that was a key, and I think our fans had a lot to do with that, Rich. Kier with the steal to get a goaltending call here to make it 61-58. DJ Cunningham, uh, you mentioned in the postgame, him and El Haji were really banging bodies. That was a battle inside. Those guys, I know they were sore the next day. Under two minutes to go, and you talk about two good basketball teams. You got Atkinson knocking down two free throws, then up the other end, Rafa hitting two free throws. There was going to be no choke here. These are two good teams going at it. Well, composure is a big thing, and there's two veterans, two seniors that are knocking down foul shots. So now it's 63-62 Coastal, 35.8 seconds to go. Here's DJ Cunningham with the slam coach. It's UNC Asheville by one. Well, we're going to get the ball, we're going to call timeout, we're going to put the ball in Kier's hands, and then you can see the rest. But watch our defense when, when it goes through the net. Okay, Coach, you've set the table here. Kier Greenwood, you got it in his hands. About six seconds to go. We've seen him do this before, but, Coach, here comes the defense you're talking about. you got to hang on for six seconds. Coach, how long is this six seconds for? It's a, it's a long way, but we stop the ball. A lot of teams, you've seen a lot of teams go and lay it up, but we stop the ball and they took a three-point shot from the corner with it being contested. That's about as good a defense as you can call for. And you can see that the crowd is quite pleased. What a tremendous basketball game, Coach. I think this is just a precursor to the Big South Tournament. Oh, man, it's going to be something else two weeks from now when we play because uh, this is the game, I mean, like I said earlier, that we played Asheville twice, and it's gone down to the buzzer at their place, going down the buzzer here, the road. The road is not as tough this time of year for teams that have been on the road so much. So these teams are going to come in here confident, ready to play. Kier Greenwood wins it. We caught up with him after the game. Uh, coach just said, uh, if you see a play, just take it and uh, wait within the last 10 seconds. That's what I did. Um, took my time, was patient, and I hit the shot. And uh, we, we played good defense for the last five seconds, and we came up with the win. Kier, that reminded me a lot of East Carolina about two years ago at the convention center. Does, does that sink in with you, the same kind of thing? Yeah, it, it definitely has the same kind of feel, except that was a, was a little less time. But uh, same kind of feel, kind of similar, same situation. Uh, I'm comfortable in those situations, uh, late in the shot clock, late in the game. Uh, I just hit a good shot, you know what I mean? Uh, credit to my teammates. We fought hard the whole game. Uh, luckily, I just hit a shot, and everything worked in our favor. I mean, when he had the ball and he touched the paint, I was like, oh, that's it. I knew he wouldn't make it because that's a shot he made every time. Like, we see it every time. So I was like, oh, he's going to make it. Our HTC Peak performer from the UNC Asheville game, Kier Greenwood, the senior from Cincinnati, Ohio. Nine points, but all that matters is those last two coaches. Well, he hit the big shot and he played great defense. So we'll, he's our peak performer. But I, I'd have to give it to our team overall. But, you know, Kier made the shot when it was on the line. Time for us to step away. When we come back, it's time for Sean's Corner. The coach goes one-on-one -on -one with Michelle Ananga. That's when the Cliff Ellis Show continues right after this. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by a &I Fire and Water Restoration, Coastal Orthopedic, Strand Orthopedic, and Creek Rats. Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. At Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers and sponsors of the Coach Cliff Ellis Show. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton, along with my children Case, Preston, and Mary Madison. I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britton Law Firm. And Coach Ellis and Coach LaForce, we have fine men that are leading our students at Coastal to great achievements. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program. The Britton Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. Crestcom Bank is now offering our customers a new reason to smile. It's our totally free checking. And when we say free, we mean free. Totally free checking means free online banking, free online bill pay, free MasterCard debit card, free first order of checks, free unlimited checking. You'll even receive a free gift when you open an account. To sign up for totally free checking, visit any of our Crestcom Bank locations throughout Myrtle Beach and Charleston. Crestcom Bank. Have a nice bank. 
Welcome to Shant's Corner. Today we have Michelle Inanga. He comes to us from Cameroon in Africa. He is a young man that played basketball last year at Montverde Academy, one of the top high schools in the country. He caught our eye uh, there. Uh, he's been in the States, uh, but he is such a pleasure to coach. He's, he's one of those guys that uh, understands the game, comes in and plays hard. Uh, and it's a pleasure to have Michelle. Michelle, tell us a little bit about your country in Cameroon. Um, Cameroon is just, uh, actually I miss my country because you have such nice people over there. They're all, they're all smiling. That's why. Are we bad over here? I mean, you're not bad, but I mean, we're better, you know, no offense, but we're better. You, you can see. You me. like the smile. You like to see the smile. And Michelle wears a smile every day. What's the favorite food? Uh, mine, mine is like, is a, is a traditional dish. It's called a cook. My mom does that with beef and some kind of veggies. That thing is just, it's just, oh, now you make me think of my country. I'm just missing that thing now. Oh, I want to go back home. Well, I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. NBA player, who's your favorite player? Uh, oof, it's tough. They are a lot. I mean, actually, I like, I like, um, Bruce Bowen because the defender because I try to be a, def a great defender if I can. I like um, Sean Barry because he plays D and he can shoot. Yeah. And ob obviously I like LeBron, Kobe. My favorite. I don't have really favorite player, but I used to base my game on some point guard like Steve Nash and what was the other one? I mean, I just try to pass the ball. I don't like to score. I mean, it's not I don't like to score that much. But I'm not a scorer. I'm I'm more extra pass guy. Tell the people why you came to the States. Uh, I came here because of the American dream, you know. I try, I try to reach my goal, like play professional basketball. And why not the NBA if I can? That's what I'm striving for. Do you feel that it has been worth it for you to come into the States? Yes, I, I, get, I get a lot better. And I think I'm getting, I'm getting that, I mean, I'm getting on my, on my dream path. I'm getting that way. I think I might make it. You never know. Well, we're counting on that. We're counting on that. Just a freshman, Michelle Nango, who comes to us from Cameroon and Africa. Very proud to have him. HTC presents a look back, highlighting some of the great moments from the Cliff Ellis era at Coastal Carolina. We go back to February 28, 2008 in Asheville, North Carolina, as Jack Leisure makes history, becoming the Big South's all-time leader in three-pointers. Leisure would finish his career with 405 career triples, one of only eight in NCAA history to reach the 400 mark. HTC has been the title sponsor of the Cliff Ellis Show for the past seven years. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timber, Beach Realty, and the Britton Law Firm. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the seafood dinner special. Baskets, po'boys, wraps, and burgers. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Beach Realty. Working with Beach Realty means you get the reliability and dedication that comes with a team of seasoned professionals who are willing to go beyond the call of duty for you or your family. Visit scbeachrealty.com or call 877-98-SUNNY to learn how Beach Realty can help you locate your future real estate in the Garden City, Merle's Inlet, and Surfside Beach areas. Thanks to Kevin Dorenzo and the team at Beach Realty for being a part of our team, on the Cliff Ellis Show. Come have a ball at the VisitMyrtleBeach.com Big South Basketball Tournament March 5th through the 10th in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Immerse yourself in the warm, white, sandy beaches, championship golf, endless cuisine choices, amusements, shopping, world-class shows and amenities. Log on to VisitMyrtleBeach.com now for special accommodation rates, tournament information, and things to see and do on your visit to beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Come get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merleson and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. 
Time now for our HTC scouting report. Coach, two games left in the regular season. You will be ready for the tournament after Winthrop on Wednesday and at Charleston Southern to wrap it up. Well, Winthrop game is a game, you know, I guess there's been two games since Christmas I've been disappointed in, and that's the Winthrop game and the Western Carolina game, uh, both on the road, but it was because of the physical part of the game. We have to be better physically Wednesday night. The other thing is it's senior night. Uh, this is our last regular season game we honor four seniors, Kier Greenwood, Anthony Raffa, uh, Charles Ashford, BC Addy. These guys have given a lot to Coastal. So this will be a senior night and uh, Winthrop, you don't have to say much more than Winthrop. I mean, every time that we play, it's a tough matchup and we've got to come and bring the physicality in this game. Coach, you have an interesting challenge. You have home court with the Big South Tournament coming to the HTC Center. There's not much to play for as far as positioning goes, but it's still at the very same time very important to have the right the right momentum heading into this tournament. You want to play. You want to be playing well going into the tournament. So we're based, we're one week away, and we've got one week to get ready. Uh, let's get ready against Winthrop at home, and then we've got Charleston Southern on Saturday. Team that's uh, pretty much uh, settled in as far as the winner in our division, and uh, they're going to be ready after we beat them at our place. And it's their last game, and you know they're trying to celebrate championship, which they're going to get. And uh, We've got two tough games. And we will join you next Sunday from Charleston, South Carolina, on the campus of Charleston Southern. And the Big South Tournament is right around the corner. For the coach, I'm Rich Crampanis. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another edition of the Cliff Ellis Show. HTC High Speed Internet is fast for my family, and that's good because with four of us online at one time, we can't afford to slow down. HTC is a plan that keeps our home connection up to speed, and faster speeds make it even easier to connect to family, friends, business, and entertainment on our tablets, laptops, and smartphones. And that's how HTC connects my home with the things that mean the most. Get more speed at home for your new tablets with HTC High Speed Internet and save. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. DAR Pro Solutions is America's oldest, largest, and most innovative recycling solutions company that serves our nation's food industry. DAR Pro offers their customers over a century of experience, a network of nationwide locations, and a continuous commitment to research and to develop tomorrow's recycling solutions. DAR Pro is founded on the heritage of two great companies, Darling International and Griffin Industries. A special thanks to DAR Pro Solutions for being the co-title sponsor of the Cliff Ellis Basketball Show. The Cliff Ellis Show is brought to you by Waccamaw Land and Timmer. Serving the Grand Strand since 1982, the ultimate goal of Waccamaw Land and Timber is to match the best interest of both the buyer and the seller. When a friend or colleague is looking for commercial property, I tell them to call the pros at Waccamaw Land and Timber. Call 449-0441 to discuss your real estate needs with Waccamaw Land and Timber. I want to thank my friend Keith Henson from Waccamaw Land and Timber for their support of the Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears. Come have a ball at the VisitMyrtleBeach.com Big South Basketball Tournament March 5th through the 10th in beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Immerse yourself in the warm, white, sandy beaches. Championship golf, endless cuisine choices, amusements, shopping, world-class shows and amenities. Log on to VisitMyrtleBeach.com now for special accommodation rates, tournament information, and things to see and do on your visit to beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Passion. Without it, the best you can hope for is mediocrity. For WPDE News Channel 15, our passion is local sports. Keeping the Grand Strand and PD informed with unrivaled local sports coverage. It's our purpose, our spirit. It's the core of who we are. Others say they cover sports, but it takes passion to cover local sports.